Sim Reno. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you are brand new, I am very excited that you decided to join me here today for our very first episode of our Discover University Let's Play. All right, everyone, I want to introduce you to the family that we will be playing with for the Discover University Let's Play. And I thought that it would be kind of fun to actually play with a male main character because as you probably could have t like noticed at this point um, with all my other Let's Plays and challenges, there is a female lead essentially because that's just how I identify. That is usually the kind of gameplay uh, the perspective I usually kind of have throughout my gameplay and whatnot. So I thought it'd be kind of fun and kind of a challenge to play with a male lead. So this is Grant Shipley. He's actually in his warm weather outfit right now. The whole family is, if, I'm, if my memory is serving me correctly, because I started the game in summer leading into fall for enrollment at university. So this is Grant. He actually is in the military career and his contract is ending. So he's looking to go back to school to start up another career to provide for his young family so he does have the academic aspiration this is the aspiration under the knowledge category that we got with university it reads the sim wants to attend university and get a job but most importantly learn and with that aspiration he did get the quick learner trait which is pretty cool he's also family oriented a geek and very self-assured. So I feel like he's going to do very well at, off at university and he does have a son Brayden who actually very much looks up to his dad, but he's very into sports. You can tell by not only his outfit, but he does have the active trait. Though his aspiration is to be an artistic prodigy, so he may have some skills and interests that have yet to really be discovered and explored in great detail. And then the youngest member of the Shipley family is Sersha, Brayden's little sister, and the apple of her dad's eye is what I would anticipate. And she is angelic, so we don't know much about Sersha quite yet, though I believe her favorite color is purple, and she also really loves dinosaurs. So her <laughs> room is basically all dinosaurs. So we'll kind of run through their outfits just so you can kind of see what style they have. And I tried to use as many university items as I possibly could for Grant that really fit what I felt his personality would reflect. So this top is actually from university. The jeans that came with the university are a little baggy and you couldn't actually see the detail of the boxer line. So I decided not to use those because I definitely wanted to use this top. So as you can see, it's one from university and it comes in a bunch of different swatches here. But I really liked this one. I don't know why. Maybe it's the green and red. Maybe I'm in the Christmas spirit. Like, I don't know. But I did really like it. And here's his formal outfit where he gets very very cleaned up like extremely cleaned up to the point he has a vest and a little uh, pocket handkerchief there so he gets real fancy and here's his athletic outfit the top and I believe the sweatpants are also from university his sleep outfit where he looks like a totally complete dad I don't believe he will be actually living on campus <laughs> uh, I guess we could always kind of explore that down the road but I don't think he is so this wouldn't really be the dorm outfit <laughs> besides um he is a single dad so i don't think he could live on campus at least not in a dorm and here is the party outfit again the shirt is from university and these sneakers his swimwear where he looks rather dashing his hot weather and his cold weather which is almost identical to his everyday just that he has winter boots we'll kind of take a look at brayden as well because he's pretty fashion forward so he does really much enjoy soccer so Maybe his dad will play soccer and they can play together. That would be kind of fun. But that's his everyday outfit, his formal, athletic, sleep, party, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather, where I kind of wanted him to look more like a little kid that pieced together his own outfit. So that's where the hat comes into play. I think it's adorable. <laughs> and we'll look at Sersha as well. Her outfits are adorable. I always completely pine over <laughs> the dollar outfits. I think they're so cute. So here's her everyday her formal, sleep, party, swimwear, hot weather, which is actually identical to every day as well, and her cold weather, which this outfit actually came with the update in the new patch. Look at how cute it is. Look at these swatches. They're so cute. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. But I thought the purple really fit her personality more, so we have the purple. But that is our family. We'll kind of change Brayden back here to his every day. And let's go ahead and see what the family is up to and kind of where Grant is in this whole considering university process. Welcome to Casa de Shipley. <laughs> also, who is that? Bella Stray. Oh, should they get a cat? All right, no, nope, we're getting distracted. So this is where the Shipley family lives. I actually made this house 
well, well before I actually made my YouTube channel in the first place. But this is their house and I thought it actually fit them perfectly because there was a room for a child sim and a toddler and then a main bedroom for either mom or dad or whoever, whichever parent um, or whatever parents were actually present. So I thought it was absolutely perfect and we'll kind of just walk right in, check out the family. Here's Grant just watching TV in the little dining section. They only have this one little TV here. Looks like he's watching sports. Sounds about right. Don't know where Brayden went, but Saoirse is over here playing with her blocks because she's an angel. And I guess we'll go ahead and try to find Brayden while also giving you guys a tour of the house. So this is the little kind of like family room slash kitchen. There is that half wall that divides it, which I really, really love. And actually, if we go back in this hallway, behind that door is a full bathroom downstairs. So there is one upstairs and there's one downstairs. So kind of go up the stairs here and right in the main landing is dad's room. So that's kind of kind of crappy <laughs> but over here actually is Brayden's room so we'll kind of check that out maybe he's here I'm not really sure nope Brayden's not in his room but that's okay so he does have a very small room but as you can see he has a soccer ball here a toy chest and some miscellaneous decorations that really kind of reflect his personality and of course his school mess because what well, child isn't a little messy and over here oh here's Brayden he's in his sister's room for some reason that is okay buddy you can stay there and goodbye. All right. Well, this is Sersha's room, as you can see. Very much into dinosaurs. Loves dinosaurs. Has a stuffed dinosaur toy on her bed. Has a bookshelf and her own little clothing storage here. And then in here also is another full bathroom. A little bit more decorated for the kids. With a little Todd pod. And laundry. So they actually have laundry. I forgot I gave them laundry. And we'll kind of go out here too. There's a little balcony for dad. So maybe he can get some peace and quiet and just kind of sit over here and enjoy the view or play some chess. And if we go down here, we don't have much in the backyard. There isn't much on the porch here, but there is a swing set and at least a fire pit for the family to kind of hang out as well as a sprinkler. Dad has a bike too. He tries to stay active and they also have some water balloons as well for the summertime. So yeah, family's doing great. Oh, Looks like Sersha kind of needs something here, so um, yeah, we'll kind of take care of that. Get ready, because once I get out of this view, we are going to skyrocket to the roof. Ah, there we are. All right. All right, we're back. <laughs> we are back. All right, well, Grant actually does have a few skills, too, so he's not really starting from scratch, which is good. He has some cooking skill, kind of, just enough, really, to, I suppose, feed the family. <laughs> and it looks like he's going to sit down with Sersha and read her a book. Oh. Just so you know, as you can see, I, I didn't tell them to do that. We're going to skip the welcome wagon here. Sorry, Brant. Brant and Brent, right? Oh, and they hate us. Oh, well. All right. Well, he does have some skills. So he has a higher fitness skill just because he is in the military career. He has some logic. His parenting skills always increasing. And he has some slight programming skill. So I don't really know if that's going to suffice for a scholarship because if you guys didn't know already, your skills actually impact your ability to get particular scholarships as well as your household funds, which as you can see, Grant is kind of struggling a little bit with this transition. It's, it's really a challenge for him to find a higher paying job, hence going to university. And he was able to save some, but honestly, he bought this house because he wanted his kids to be very comfortable and he's just kind of running low on funds right now. So that could impact his ability to get a scholarship as well. And Brayden has some skills too, very high in crea creativity, some in mental, motor, and social, because as you can see, his aspiration is to be a very creative sim. And Sersha actually has pretty high skills too. She's fully potty trained, thank goodness. And she does have skills pretty much in every other toddler skill that's available, which is really nice. And they do live rather comfortably, at least right now. And I really do think that Grant is really just trying to do right by his kids. He does want to explore something. He's He seems to be a lifelong learner. And the military as a career for you know the rest of his life, that just really wasn't what he pictured at all. He didn't like being away from his kids for so long and, and for how frequently he was away from them. And honestly, at this point, once he had the kids and the kids started to get older, and once his wife, his kid's mom, actually just completely disappeared at one point, and I'm not saying disappeared like mysteriously, I mean, I think she made the decision to, that she wasn't a family sim and left Grant to raise the kids. So after she left, he made the decision, I can't do this for the rest of my life. I have to be around for my kids. I can't be gone all of the time because I am responsible for them. And here we are. 
So what we'll kind of do here is, <laughs> is the kids just have a grand old time. This is really adorable. We're gonna actually have Grant, where are you Grant? There you are. We're gonna have him go out to the mailbox because you can go ahead and apply for scholarships via the mailbox or a computer. He doesn't actually have a computer. So we're gonna apply for scholarships here via the mailbox. And then what we'll be able to do is apply to university. And I think what we'll do is we'll see what the results of the scholarships are first because it really is dependent on his ability to even go to university. So we will apply for the Brindleton Bay Scholarship because he's in Brindleton Bay. And then we'll do the education for all. I think that's the lower household funds. Yeah, it is. Okay. And then we'll also apply for, I think all the ones for his skill shows up, right? Workplace scholar who have shown success in any career can apply. Oh, the career for scholarship. Okay. Yeah. He's actually done pretty decent. So he is at the he's at five in the military career, which is good. And like I said, his days are pretty much numbered. His contract is expiring soon. So he's trying to apply early. And let's see, we'll do, we'll do the athletic one too. I don't think the food and drink would really go well. He doesn't really have that much. He has three. I suppose it doesn't hurt to apply though. Eh, it doesn't hurt to apply. We'll apply for all available scholarships because I think that's a good idea. He really needs all the help he can get because college is expensive and I think he'd prefer not <laughs> to take out student loans. So. Let's see what the results are. I'm not a regular dad. I'm a cool dad. I play soccer inside with my kids. Right in the kitchen where it's real dangerous. <laughs> but man, these two are actually really good. Look at him go. Maybe he can actually up his fitness skill and it'll up his chances of getting that fitness scholarship. But as you can see, still the same day. So family's kind of winding down. I know we won't be able to find out <laughs> about the scholarships probably for, for like a day or two. I'm assuming on maybe like Tuesday. So we'll kind of just like ignore all of that, skip through that kind of gameplay a little bit here. And yeah, we'll kind of just wait to see what it, the results are of the scholarship application in the first place. And I'm assuming that things are going to go decently well. I'm really excited about it. And oh, I forgot we can assign beds. So here, that's actually Brayden's bed. We're going to assign this bed right here. Oh, we can assign sides. We don't want that. Looks like dad's actually pretty tired too. So you know what? We'll go ahead and sleep there. We'll put everyone to bed and everyone's doing great. Beautiful. At 4.16 in the morning, uh, Grant got a notification about university actually. So Grant should start thinking about further education. Take a look at his options by researching universities below or on a computer. Okay. Let's look at the University of Brightchester. So the University of Brightchester holds nearly a millennium of history within its traditional halls of learning, having taught every type of student from royal to unknown. That's interesting. The university prides itself in educating both minds and morals, molding students into well-rounded and upstanding sims, ready to enter the world and make a difference. That definitely sounds like it is up Grant's alley. Hmm. There are organizations, the Brightchester Spirit Corps, the Art Society, and the Debate Guild. And so with the degrees, as you guys probably already know, they're basically flipped in regards to the regular degrees and the distinguished degrees, depending on the institution. So the University of Brightchester, the distinguished degrees are actually in mainly the humanities. So culinary arts, art history, communications, language and literature, history, drama, that kind of stuff. And the regular degrees, which don't wield as good of career rewards, I believe, career advancement and like p like vacation days, stuff like that. There are other perks. The regular degrees are actually more so in the STEM field, whereas, let's see, in that notification, for Foxbury, it's kind of the opposite. So the distinguished degrees are in the STEM fields, whereas the regular degrees are in the humanities. So it really does depend on kind of what you want and if you even get into the distinguished degrees because those are harder to get into. But Foxbury Institute consistently rated as a premier university. Foxbury Institute boasts a modern campus with impressive facilities and a broad swath of alumni who have emerged as innovative leaders in their respective fields. The university is always looking for students who dare to dream big. That also seems to fit Grant. So we're really gonna have to make a decision. They also have the Foxbury Spirit Squad, the Brainiacs, and the Bot Savant. So maybe if he goes into something STEM related, he might wanna go to Foxbury. We'll have to kind of make the decision though. He can transfer univers universities as well. All right, so we learned a little bit about the different universities. I think what we'll actually do in the morning here when everyone starts to wake up, I think dad, yeah, we'll do it right now. Dad right here is actually just going to apply to university because we'll probably hear around the same time about the scholarships if we apply now. If we apply early on, then that means that we're just gonna know sooner. 
So Grant's university application is on its way. The university will look over the application and mail the results back sometime in the next few days. Grant may also check his application status at any time on a computer. Well, we don't have a computer, so can we do it here on the phone? Check scholarship applications and check application status. Perfect. So what we'll do is we'll kind of wait around. Like I said, probably Tuesday, like tomorrow, maybe Wednesday with that application to college now. Probably will take a little bit of time for us to find out, which I think is super realistic. Honestly, I, I didn't like a lot of the aspects of The Sims 4. Everything was very immediate to me. And now I can't even think of like pinpointed examples. But I'm really glad that we actually have to wait a little while to hear about the status of everything and if you actually got in. I really like that aspect of this. It has been another stressful day for Grant. As his days come to an end in the military, he's just becoming more and more stressed if he got into university or not and kind of what that means in regards to providing for his family. Meanwhile, Brayden is actually striving. He's doing great in school. When I say great, I mean like he's really picking up the pace. <laughs> Sersha's actually doing wonderful as well. And sleepy, sleepy, worn out, and stressed Grant is about to go check the mailbox to see what mail he got because he does have mail waiting for him and I'm hoping it is scholarship or acceptance news. So let's see. Grant has collected everything from the mailbox. All right. Oh, he has an acceptance letter and scholarship result letters. Ooh, let's open them all. All right, so Grant won the scholarship food and drink for 200. <gasps> That's awesome. I didn't think he was going to get that one. Okay, yeah, we got food and drink. Um, is that the only one we know about yet? Oh, we got the athletics one for 450. The workplace for 300. Oh my god. And education for all is 500. He's dancing up a storm. Look how happy he is. <laughs> He didn't get the Brindleton Bay one, but that's okay. Oh my God, look at, he's so excited. <laughs> and let's read his acceptance letter. Oh my God. Congrats, acceptance letter to University of Brightchester and Foxbury. So he only got into a few limited distinguished degrees at each university, which is totally fine. I'm trying to decide what he should actually go for. I mean, May he wants something that's going to be high paying. That's definitely a focus. Like he does want something high paying. He wants something that will allow him to provide for his two kids. I mean, that's the reason he's doing all of this in the first place. But he also loves learning. So he I feel like he almost doesn't even have a preference, but he wants something challenging. So maybe he should go into biology or economics. I don't know. And actually, which college should he go to, right? I think he should go into a distinguished degree. So he is a little bit limited at Brightchester compared to Foxbury. However, he could always transfer institutions as well, to my knowledge. So I think he should consider Foxbury. That would be really fun. Oh, you guys, he did it. He did it. He is well on his way to making an absolutely huge life change for him and these kiddos. And I am just so stoked about it. All right, Brayden, good job juggling and practicing. Sir, she's coming down to talk to dad. <laughs> she just took a nap at like five o'clock in the afternoon, but that's okay. I think dad's actually going to sleep because he's exhausted, which is fine because Brayden can hang out with his little sister. I think she's just gonna go down here. She's gonna study some shapes. Brayden's actually cleaning up. He's going to the bathroom. He's gonna take a shower and tomorrow the family can kind of sit down, have a discussion about what this is gonna mean for them. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. So before school, Grant decided to sit down with Brayden and tell him the good news about getting accepted into university and how things are going to change for them. Their daily routine is going to change a little bit. Dad's work schedule is going to be hectic. And I think he's almost, even though it may not be entirely age appropriate, he's kind of leaning on Brayden to really kind of step up and take on even more responsibility in the house just to make sure that Sersha's I guess her day-to-day -day doesn't change too much and that she adjusts okay, but he's also concerned about Brayden adjusting too because Brayden's young. He's not necessarily ready to kind of step up as the man of the house per se when, when you know, Grant isn't around. So it's going to be really interesting to see how the whole entire family adjusts, but I'm hoping that Brayden really does step up and I think he's really proud of his dad. He looks up to him and he wants to basically be him when he gets older. So I, I think that he's really excited and... I don't know, I'm excited to see what kind of influence that has on Brayden as well, because his dad is literally his hero. Oh, and he's like, Dad, it's alright. 
I'll do it. I'm so proud of you, and I can't wait to see all the great things you do. Might be a little bit too advanced for, you know, maybe like a six or seven year old, but that's okay. He's so proud. I think it is time for Grant to actually enroll in university. So you guys will have to help me out here in picking his degree path. This Let's Play may be short because I want your input as to where this story should go. So, should he go to Foxbury or the University of Brightchester? So, if we look at Foxbury, he got into the Biology Distinguished Degree, the Economics Distinguished Degree, and Psychology. So those are his three options at Foxbury. If he goes to Brightchester, the distinguished degrees are communications and history. Now, he has some technical skills. He has some physical skills. I don't really know what he's leaning towards. So I want to know which university he should go to. I have an inkling that he should go to Foxbury. That's just me. But he could also go to Brightchester. If he does go to Foxbury, let's look at what the distinguished degrees will offer him. If he goes in biology, it is a matter of life and death, Ooh, first off, um, degree benefits. So he could go into being a bodybuilder. That's interesting. A botanist, a doctor, or a marine biologist, which would be really neat. So I had a feeling it would go into the doctor career for sure. If he goes into economics, this could help him be an administrator in the education career. That's neat. An environmental manager or an investor in the business career. And psychology will help him out with going back into the military. That would be interesting. He could also be a detective or a secret agent as well as a professor. So you know what? With his thirst for knowledge, I don't know. With his always wanting to learn something new... We'll kind of see if maybe uni will have an impact on him and the track that he takes because being a professor might really be where it's at for him. That's what I'm leaning towards. If he does go to Brightchester in his distinguished degrees of communication, he could become a charity organizer in the politician career, a journalist. He could be management in the business career or public relations in the social media career. I don't believe that social media really fits him. Journalist might and charity organizer honestly might. So we'll keep those in the back of our minds here. If he does go into history, it could help him go into law. He could be a judge. Again, the military, which we'll probably steer away from, or a politician. So, you know, that's really difficult. I feel like communications might be an option. Mm, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. History could too. I'm thinking either history at Brightchester to go into the law degree here or going to Foxbury for I th think psychology honestly yeah I think psychology so that's what it's up for grabs for we'll narrow it down so let me lo let me know what degree Grant should go into should he go into psychology at Foxbury to become a professor or should he go into the history degree at Brightchester to become a judge what do you think would fit him best the next episode, what we'll do is we'll choose some classes and like what number of classes. I'll just kind of pick that and we'll move on. And I think what's going to end up happening is this family actually might be moving to Brightchester to be closer to the institution. Maybe get something a little bit smaller, something a little more affordable, even though it is in this up and coming neighborhood of potentially Foxbury. It seems like this neighborhood all in all is a little pricey, so... We will keep that in mind. But thank you guys so much for checking out this very first part of the Discovery University Let's Play. And I can't wait to see where his story takes us. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.